Welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about the best plugins for SEO. I'm also going to show you a really, really interesting way of getting them to give you all of the visuals that you need and then to write the article. In order to do this, I first of all have to explain my custom instructions, okay? My custom instructions, I'll leave these in the description. They're already set up to do internal links and they're already set up to write a, an article in a very specific way, okay? This is quite complicated, but for me personally, it's very, very worth setting up. The article right now that's set up is basically an article about cashmere coats, okay? This is an article that I wrote today, but you can change this. It's completely up to you. For now, I'm just gonna use this as an example, okay? This isn't even the important part. It's just these are my custom instructions, which is why I know that the output of the final article will be good, okay? So, first of all, what we do is we make sure that uh, plugins are turned on. So click on your name here, press settings, and then this word features. I don't like saying this word because I always, always pronounce it wrong. Make sure plugins are turned on, and then you want to make sure that the following plugins are turned on. CapCut, and then you can decide between something like uh, Graph Constructor, Diagrams. I personally like uh, this one here. It's called Diagram uh, here, diagram.am. And then also image search, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the prompting system that I normally use. It's, uh, it's called prepping, basically. Just before we go into that, I do want to give you an example of one of these articles. This is exactly what I did. To, well, not exactly what I did, but very similar to what I did to create this article right here. Okay, you can see that it has the uh, SVG uh, of the uh, diagram or the pie chart has the lines here, et cetera, et cetera. And this content does rank. So if I put this on here, this is a fresh domain website. Let me just remove um, Tiny Home Hub as a query because a lot of people find this uh, page when they're just looking for my website from my YouTube channel. But you can see still this content is growing. This is without any keywords that are related to my, um, my website. So people that go from my YouTube onto Google. This is purely uh, its own content ranking, okay? You can see Google really, really likes this kind of unique visual content, okay? So what we're gonna do, I'll leave all of these prompts in the description. Basically, you turn on these prompt, uh, these plugins, so Cap, uh, what's it called? CapCut, I think it's called CapCut, Image Search and Diagram. You can change Image Search and Diagram, it's not really too important. So, hello, I want you to create an article today. I first want you to use the plugins I've activated to create visually appealing content. And then afterwards, I would like to write an article and I want you to insert this content directly into my article. You will not start writing until I say, let's go chat GPT. Do you understand? Please firstly create a video using cap cut about black tie attire for men. So that will immediately start to use CapCut to create a video, okay? This is really, really cool. You can very easily, you can upload this to YouTube if you want, or you can just embed it directly on your WordPress website. I believe you can do that. Or you might, you could use Vimeo, for example. I'm, I'm not actually 100% sure if you can just upload a video. But basically, once this is done, you have this link right here, and you can export it using CapCut. So you basically just have to open this link that it gives you and then turn it into a video. You can export it using CapCut. I don't think you have to pay anything. I haven't paid anything and I've already done this. So I'm not 100% sure how that works, but it seems like you do not have to pay anything, which is very, very cool. Uh, so that's the first piece of visually appealing content, okay? You may notice me floating around in this video. I am gonna get a green screen. That's my next purchase, okay? Uh, I wanted to get one before, but I just, I just uh, I don't really have space for it, but I'm definitely gonna get one. Now, I'm gonna play this video, but I don't think I'm gonna play it with the music, okay? So I've got it muted. It's just a basic video, okay? But the cool thing is it does mention my brands, or it should mention the brands, which it took from the custom instructions. This time it hasn't mentioned the brands, that's fine. It's got music. Actually, I just realized the music is copyright free, so I can actually play you a little bit. Tuxedo, a white dress shirt, a black bow tie, and patent leather shoes. 
Accessories like cufflinks and pocket squares add the finishing touches. Okay, so it's not like, it's not groundbreaking or anything, but it's just an, another way to increase engagement. Another way if you say, hello Google, index this page instead of my competitor's page. Let's put my page on Google because mine has a video, okay? You can export it here. Uh, yeah, allow, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then download it as 7020p. And then you can either put it on YouTube or I believe you can just embed it directly on WordPress. And if not, you could put it on Vimeo as well. I personally would put it on YouTube though and then embed it that way, okay? That's a really good way to increase engagement. It's a really good way to say to Google, come on my website instead of someone else's website. And it's just gonna increase your traffic. So that's the first one. The second one is please now find three to five images to put into the article from image search. Make sure they are relevant to tuxedos or bow ties. The reason I'm putting that is because I did this before as a test and a lot of them were wearing suits. You can't really wear a suit to a black tie attire event, okay? So I really wanted to just make sure that it was a tuxedo. What this is now gonna do is it's now gonna find some images which may or may not be appropriate. If you personally don't think they're appropriate, you can just ask it to generate more. This is, you could wear that to a black tie attire. Yep, this is completely fine. Um, yep, you can, you can wear that to a black tie attire event. So that's the first image. And then this is Unsplash as well, which if you, let's just have a look at Unsplash. I believe it's just license free imaging. Yeah, free images and pictures. Let's see what the license says. I mean, it wouldn't be here if it wasn't. Unsplash grants you an irrevocable, non-exclusive worldwide copyright license. Download, copy, modify, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So it's like free pick or whatever. You're just allowed to use their images. I don't know how they make money, honestly. Uh, you could put this in, but you wouldn't wear this to a black tie event necessarily, but you could still put this in because the shoes are a very, very good example of some shoes that you could wear to a black tie attire event. Uh, this is also fine. You probably wouldn't wear this to a black tie attire event either. I'm going to stop saying that series of words. Let's pretend that these are relevant images. Okay. It, it's just my example is super, super specific and only this image would really work. But let's just pretend that they're all good images just for the purpose of this video because most likely they're going to be fine for everyone else. It's just black tie attire is very, very specific. And then the final prepping prompt is now please generate three visually appealing graphs. Again, I'm going to leave all of this in the description and also I'm going to leave my custom instructions in the description. You can tailor those custom instructions to what you need them to do. Okay, if you need them to internally link to a certain page, you can make them internally link to a certain page. Personally, what I've been doing with my custom instructions is I generate them or I create them by hand before I write the article. I'll give you an example of that just while this is loading. I did want to make another video about this. I probably will still. But basically what I did was I found all of the brands that we have that has a that, ha that sells cashmere coats, okay? And then I put that into the custom instructions and I told it to write an article about cashmere coats, which is why right now it's literally just written about cashmere coats right here. That's fine because we can, inc we can include this in this article because if it's a winter black tie attire event, it's perfectly acceptable to wear a cashmere coat. This one here, components of black tie attire, perfect. Occasions for wearing black tie attire, perfect. These two, these three are actually perfect, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, let's go chat GPT, do not forget uh, photos, embed the video and uh, the graphs. And now it's gonna write an article about black tie attire and it's gonna include everything that we have just generated. Currently, this is the best way to make completely unique content that Google will look at and say, this is something new. This is what we need, okay? Again, the unsplash images aren't perfect for this specifically, but I just really like the hands off, like way to create articles here. You could probably do this as well within the API because I know that plugins are available for API, but you can see here, this is how the article will come out, okay? It's talking about cashmere coats here, which is kind of annoying. That's just because of my, um, my custom instructions, like I said before. But yeah, this, what this is, okay, this is an article that's shorter, but has more chance of ranking because it has so much unique content. A lot of people think you need 
5,000 words to rank for something like this, but you don't. What you need is unique content that Google will say, that's good content. And how do you do that? You have visually appealing uh, photos and things like that inside the article. Okay, now, what I personally would do is I would refine this process even more uh, because I would personally say this is not enough content. I would make it a little bit longer. So I would say, write the first part of this article and then write the second part of this article. I am so tempted to put this on two men just to see if it ranks. I might actually do that, okay? Going back to what I was talking about before, this is the Cashmere Coat brand article that I wrote. It's now August 2023, so you're allowed, oh, sorry, September. So you're allowed to write 2024 now. I, I the general rule is the last three months of a year, as far as I'm aware, that's when you're allowed to start writing that. And you can see, I haven't used um, the exact process that I showed you in this video, but this is where, this is what my custom instructions do. Okay, it's very, very nice. I love custom instructions. They're very, very useful. So let's just quickly see if this got indexed, the Cashmere Coat brand article. I believe it will be indexed uh, if it's not already getting traffic. Yeah, it's indexed. Nice. Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much for watching, guys. As usual, I really, really wanted to make this video because I just love plugins and I know that this works and I know that Google loves unique content like this. Another thing as well, if you're on WordPress, you can actually copy and paste this and this will be uploaded to your WordPress and it will... It, it won't be from Unsplash, okay? It'll be from, it'll, it'll be on your WordPress. But luckily, this still gives credit right here, which is super, super nice as well. That's gonna be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. Sorry, just one more thing. In case you don't know, go to markdown to html.com, put the mark, uh, press copy here, put the mark down here, and then take the raw HTML here, copy and paste that directly into WordPress, okay? Thank you for watching and peace out.